Welcome friends to our yin yoga class. My name is Tammy. Our theme for our class is melting tension. So you could think of how you're able to let go physical body and your mind, mentally, emotionally. And sometimes we do feel different emotions when we hold a pose for longer periods of time. So we take notice of that when we are in those different poses and seeing how you can just let yourself go through them. For our first pose, we'll make it our way into butterfly. So having your pillows or your blocks underneath of the knees. You can also sit in an easy pose here with the legs crossed. Butterfly, bringing the bottom of your feet together and your props underneath of each knee. I'm gonna shift your body side to side here. And our shoulders relax away from the ears. Close your eyes. Feel your facial muscles soften. We notice our breath. Breathing into our lungs. Our diaphragm lifts. Feel your rib cage expand with the inhale breath. Exhale, soften into ground. Feel our knees soften into our supports. Our hips soften, release. As we are still in butterfly, you may notice areas of tension, thinking where you would usually hold tension, and is it tight there? Maybe it's not. So let's see if we can release those areas that may be holding tension in our class. So Lower back, we take notice, shoulders, upper back, pelvis. We make our way into a forward fold here, staying in butterfly. You can open up your eyes, you can sit up tall, and then folding over. Let the head hang. Your hands may be still holding onto the feet or you could take the arms forward. Turn your palms up to the sky. We let our head hang. Exhale, we let go. We're working through the whole body, melting tension, releasing. Are you able to let go a little bit more with the exhale breath? Breathing in, opening up, exhale, releasing into the ground.
coming out of butterfly. Slowly lifting. To our next pose, which would be deer pose. Take your hands behind your bottom first. Taking both knees up towards the sky and take your feet wider than the hips. Windshield wiper, knees side to side. It's good for the massage here with the pelvis. And into deer pose, left leg comes forward, right leg comes behind. So the head crops over here. From here, you can add up the pelvic tilt. You may add a twist over to the left side. So lift up and twist over. A fold over to the side, maybe add it for the last part. If you wanted to use something to let the upper body rest on a pillow, please do so. Are we let are we able to let our head hang and let go? Facial muscles again, feel them soften. And your shoulders start to melt. Adjust at any time. You may start to release a little bit more into the pose so you can get lower to the ground if you did add that fold over to the side so that you can let the forehead rest. Okay, coming out of deer pose now. Up and the fold. Up and up the twist. Take the leg forward, right leg. The left leg comes back. Again, just figuring out where your body needs to be so that you would be able to be Comfortable here, pelvic tilt, fold, you can have a twist, a fold, and letting the head rest too, maybe on a pillow. Let me let go.
readjust if you need to. Then you can make your way back into stillness. Now, coming out, deer pose. Gently lift. Come out with a twist. Both legs can come forward. Back into windshield wiper knees. Feet wider than the hips and windshield wiper. Next pose is square pose. I'll show you a couple of variations of the pose. This would be square pose here, crossing. So bending both knees, crossing your right ankle over top of the left knee. I need a little support here underneath of my right knee. So I add my pillow to let it rest. I can also place my left hand underneath of my right ankle. So I'm not letting my foot turn up. So it can be straight there. Just what, what is going to work for you? Here is variation of the pose. Left leg is straight. Crossing the ankle again over the knee and letting the knee rest. You can also do it this way. Has come behind. We lift our upper body up. You may also do this lying on your back. So the same idea, crossing your ankle over the knee. Once you have found what works for you, it's accessible for your body, then coming into stillness. Here it's opening, excuse me, opening up through our hips. Now this may be an area that you hold tension. I don't, I know I do myself, so. Working through opening up the pelvis. Breathing into areas of tension. Exhale, letting go. Exhale breath being longer than the inhale breath. Think of your breath as flow, breathing in, flowing in, flowing out. Think of the tide coming in and going out to compare a breath to.
Notice if you're hanging on to anything so your body can't let go. Could just be holding on to a body part. I know I was holding on to my ankle a little bit tighter. And we soften, soften, soften. Opening up your eyes, making our way a square pose, coming into the other side. So setting yourself up, the different variations, you can lie on your back. You can sit on a chair too. So if you did sit on a chair, that you would be sitting and crossing your ankle over. So here is a variation that we're sitting. You could do this thing. Remember, remember to lie on your back too if need be. Okay, so square pose. Placing your prop underneath of the left knee. Now you feel square pose in both of the hips, but the focus is on the left side of the hip. Finding where you're able to come into stillness. And letting go. We release our shoulders away from our ears. Your lips may part. We use our breath to help us. Inhaling to areas of tightness. Exhale, breath, soften, release. Enjoying the quiet just a little longer.
And coming out of square pose now. Keep pulsing. And just keep your props to the side here. And take your legs long and just give them a little shake out. Tap, 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 tap. And now we're turning around, coming down to the side of our body and then towards, then onto our back. We have stirrup, our next pose. Knees coming into the chest, first for cradle, letting our lower back soften. When you do an exhale here in cradle, your knees, it's nice to just let your knees splay out to the sides, to your armpits, just a little bit here. And now we turn our knees out a little bit more. You can hold underneath of the knee pits when we come into stirrup here, happy baby. So you can be here or you can bring your legs up and hold onto the ankles outside of the feet to open up a little bit more in through the groin, inner thighs, or you may hold onto your feet just with your peace fingers. Okay. And before you come into stillness, let's do a little rock side to side. Another massage for ourselves. Now into our back. Okay, now we come into stillness. And let the, if you are holding onto the edges of your feet too, you could, outside edges, just get to set the legs flop down too, like this. We close our eyes. Breathe. This is a Ujjaya breath. The Ujjaya breath is a powerful breath in yin. We do soften it, but although we are softening our Ujjayi breath, it is still powerful for inhaling, creating support for our spine, opening up through areas of tension, and the exhale breath, letting ourselves release. You could do this pose if you were seated on a chair. You open up your legs into a B and then fold forward. If you did do that pose, you just come out of it nice and slow for no head brushes. We have another minute.
Now making our way out of stirrup, we gently bring the knees back together. So if you were sitting on a chair, you would come up nice and slow. Back to cradle, so just do a little tuck of the knees into the chest. Little compression for our hands, fingers. Bring the legs up and point, flex the feet, point, flex, point, flex, and hold. I'm going to show you a variation of a shoelace, the next pose we're going to do, so you can do it when you're lying on your back, or you can do it um, upright, so when we come up. So you can try it this way if you like. We open up the legs into a V and then cross your right leg up and over top of the left leg. Legs come down and hang. You can hold on to the ankles. So it's stacking the knees on top of each other. It's also, it's called cow face pose too. You could do that with your arms and that you're crossing your right arm underneath of the left and then holding here or just like this. So I'm just going to come up and I'll show you cow face or it's shoelace in the end when we're upright. Crossing your right leg over top of the left. The goal is to stack the knees on top of each other. If this doesn't work for you, you can come into just crossing your knees over top of each other with the left leg straight out. And I'll fold forward. And breathe. And just different ways uh, for the last three poses that we've been working in through our pelvis. It was the outside, inside, now outside again, the pelvis. Outer thigh. Last close inner thigh. All the different attachments into the pelvis, into our hips. The release. Let go, let go, let go. Melt, melt, melt.
Joyce is coming to an end. May open up your eyes. If you're upright, you can take your hands back and see these legs. If you're lying on your back, you can just move your body a little bit and then take your knees into cradle if you want. You can open up your legs for everyone and then bring your legs back. This time, the left leg will cross over top of the right knee. Okay, so is this side different to the other side? To the right side. If you're right-handed or left-handed, notice the differences. Coming into stillness. You may close your eyes with me. Notice if you're hanging on. Just notice we let go. We let our breath help us to do the work. Letting go our physical body, the mind, emotions. We let ourselves feel light. Just a little longer, breathing. The breath, continuous flow. Out of shoelace. Again, if you're upright, take your hands behind and unfasten. Sleeping swan for our next pose. So here you can do a little windshield wiper of the knees again. Get a massage into the pelvis. Actually, we're not going to do sleeping swan because that was a lot of opening up through the pelvis. We'll do this one, um, this one instead. So into the upper body, into the backs of our arms and our shoulders. So we make our way to all fours here. We adjust and big step forward with the right hand. Big step forward with the left hand. Draw the forearms down. 
My pelvis stays over top of my hips. I can have my toes down, draw the forehead down, draw your heart down towards the ground. Just readjust where you see fit. Find stillness and breathe. Now coming out of melting heart, we lie on the front of our body here, prone into Shavasana. We turn our right cheek down towards the mat, arms by the side of the body, and curl the toes. with our head resting here, stretching into our neck. And coming out of this twist, we take our, our arms forward, bend the right knee up towards the shoulder. We lift up our upper body here and take your right arm, sorry, left arm underneath here, threading the needle on this side. And I'll show you a version of this too, if it doesn't work for your shoulder. And open up your body. Both arms could be straight. Turn your head the opposite way of the bent knee. So here's one version. If this doesn't work for you, I'll show you a couple different ones. This would be lying on your back. And most of you have probably done this one before here. Your knees come up over to the side. You can hold here but also be upright and doing a twist. So however you would like to sit and a twist. 
So we're all able to twist through the spine. Now you just have to decide what you would like to do and I'm still. You may even want to put a pillow underneath of the right knee. If you're lying on your back, that would work for support. Oh, let's come out of the twist. Turn your head first. Back to the center. Right arm coming up and over. Let's go into Shavasana again. This time the left cheek press on your mat. Arms by the side and curl the toes. And out of Shavasana, so we take the, turn the head, arms coming forward, left knee right, uh, lift it up towards the shoulder. This time the right arm will come underneath, threading the needle. Now remember your variations of this pose. You can lie on your back and tuck your knees up towards the right shoulder. You could sit up and be in a twist. You may turn your head the opposite way. Your knee bending. Stretching through our spine. Into the shoulder, into the chest. Mm 
You may notice your breathing now. Maybe it has slowed down a little bit more. Notice if your breath is even. Is it easy for you to inhale, open up? Not, please readjust. Just a little longer, we hold the twist. Coming out of the twist by turning your head back towards the center. You may roll back onto front of your body prone. You can let the forehead rest here, bending through the elbows and let the forehead rest onto the backs of your hands. And now coming up, you may make your way onto the side of your body or child's pose. And then coming into Shavasana. So Shavasana, you can have legs up the wall too. You can lie on your back. Legs can be straight. Knees can be bent. You can open up into a nice star just like a starfish. You could also sit in a seated pose. You're nice and warm, covering yourself, if need be with a blanket. Now imagine you are a starfish. We're letting ourselves go in the water and we feel the flow under us. We feel the flow of the water above us. It's letting us release. Drift, let go. With our eyes closed, we feel our eye sockets heavy. Lips part to help the facial muscles soften. Neck muscles soften. Let go. Shoulders soften, melt. Release. Our arms soften, letting go of everything that does not serve us out through our fingers. Our upper body. down past our hips to our lower body softens. Letting go of everything that does not serve us out through our toes. We drift, drift, drift. I will call you back when it is time.
slowly coming back. And start to move your fingers and your toes, maybe a little shift through our body. enjoying this quiet peace for ourselves. If you are lying on your back, you can bend through the knees. You can bring your right arm overhead. Roll over to right side to fetal. And then making your way up, coming up to a comfortable seated position for yourself. And taking your hands to your heart center. And close your eyes. Just breathe. And open you up with your eyes. Letting this calm take you into the rest of your day. Namaste.